It's back. It's a walking, talking version of the Weather Blender blog. Hi, everybody. It's December 8th, 2010. Spencer Atkins, glad to be back here with you once again as we stroll across the Weather Lab to sit down and check out some of the weather models, looking at the newest storm system that's projected to come in here on Sunday. Yes, it'll be a rainstorm. Yes, it'll turn into a snowstorm. Many, many, many questions as to exactly what shape, where this thing is steering. Of course, it's still a couple of days out, but I want to show you the scenarios quickly. Let's jump to the model we call the GFS. That's the American model, if you will. And you can see we start off at 7 a.m. on Sunday, low pressure over, well, western North Carolina. And the blue line is your rain snow line. That's interesting. That would be very early to see the snow roll in. And yet the weather model kind of disagrees with itself. Uh, some of the internal stuff that we look at shows that actually it's showing it would still be slightly too warm to see any, uh, any snow until later on. The black lines are pressure lines, the solid lines. The dashed blue line is what we call thickness. And uh, where you see any green inside the dashed blue, that means that you'd be looking at snow. And that's still snow coming in off the Great Lakes. The black solid lines are pressure lines, as I mentioned. And when they're tight together like that, it's a lot of wind. So this is 7 p.m. Sunday on the GFS, and it's going to be windy, cold, temperature falling, much colder air crashing the party. Now here's another model we look at, another long-range model. This one shows uh, over the western section of Ohio. This is the same time frame, 7 a.m. on Sunday. That's where the low is. Remember the other one? It was in North Carolina. Oops, we have a discrepancy. All right, so let's basically go with whatever we see here and just continue to talk about the possibilities. So this would show us more rain in the morning and then you would see almost a little bit of a gap there between the heavy rain and then the snow. This would be by 7 a.m. Monday and you would see again very windy conditions and snow coming in on the back side of that system and the low would be up actually sitting even west of Maine at that point. Here's a model we call the Canadian model. Now this one looks a little bit like the previous model. This one shows the area of low pressure sitting over Columbus on Sunday morning in Columbus, Ohio and you can see that the rain snow line, the blue dashed line, is actually just to the west of US 23. Then we move forward, this would be again looking at the Canadian model. In the morning on Monday, you would still have that same gap. So you would have rain, then a gap, then snow. That looks very familiar compared to that other model. And that also has the area of low pressure sitting over, let's say, maybe Vermont. So those two other models look a little bit alike. Here's the Japanese model. Yes. Yes, there's a Japanese model. And once again, we look ahead and we say, all right, this is Sunday morning, low pressure sitting over western Kentucky. So these weather models do not agree. That would be rain, though. And then it's over western New Jersey by Monday, and that's an awful lot of snow for us inside the blue line. Just another look at another model. Now, how much snow are we talking about? Well, we only have the one, really, that we can kind of uh, peel apart here. And let's just look at the GFS model. This is the one that would be more aggressive with snow on the high end of the scale. By 7 a.m. Monday, we would see the yellows and the greens, three to four inches of snow across the higher terrain, something like two, two and a half, Huntington, Charleston, two or less southeast Ohio. And the heaviest snow would be, let's say, from Columbus to the north. I've seen other weather models that paint no snow over West Virginia until the northwest wind kicks in, or even southeast Kentucky, and barely anything at all around the Ohio River Valley, and it would all be mainly north of Columbus. No matter what, it's going to be cold, windy, and blown all over the place, and not maybe even a lot of snow left over on Monday, but cold and blown all over the place, and Arctic air is back for Monday. So let's look at all the scenarios. We'll get a better fix on this. Just wanted to get you up to speed because a lot of people are talking about this, and it will impact a lot of the major cities in the Midwest and the Northeast going to slow down travel, especially late Sunday into Monday. We'll keep you posted right here on the Weather Blender blog.